Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagiremo TV. I am Sanu Tolakomi Ajikade. First, here are the major headlines for the national news. CBN begs Nigerians vows to stop POS charges. Emi Fele out to Scotland 2023 election with Naira scarcity. Arrest him now. Fanny Kayade, Aida Recostums intercept fake $6 million note as same border, disclose international passport syndicate. Makide deploys free buses over four, Naira crisis. Terrorist abduct wife, daughter of Plato commissioner. Man dies inside bank in Delta State. And lastly, on sport. Flying Eagles overcome Zambia in 6 goal trigger. Not yet the news in details. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, has appealed to the Nigerians to show understanding, adding that the redesigned notes will circulate and be accessible. The Apex Bank will also apply to store points of sale charges as the February 10th deadline for the swapping of old Naira notes with new ones approaches. Emi Fele made the appeal at a special media, briefing on the new Naira note on Friday in Lagos State. He noted he could see the protest and argument surrounding the difficulty citizens were facing assessing the new Naira note. The forum caused by the Nigerian Naira redesign policy is studied by the Central Bank of Nigeria continues to trigger reactions from stakeholders. Waiting into the matter, a spokesman of the All Progressive Congress, Presidential Campaign Council, Femi Fani Kayode, has called for the arrest of the CBN governor, Godwin Emefili. Fani Kayode made this call on Friday via a tweet while instituting that the CBN governor seek to disrupt for upcoming electoral process. Let me take this clear. Emi Fele has no intention of releasing new Naira notes until March. He wants people to suffer. He wants Charles and wants to score to the election. He is a dangerous power in the hands of sinister anti-democratic forces. Remove arrest and detain him now. The former aviation minister tweeted. During one of his campaign rounds, Ahmed Bola Tinubu, the presidential candidate of the ruling of Progressive Congress, Accused the cover within the president, Muhammad Ubari, led federal government of sabotaging the party by creating unnecessary hardship with Naira redesign and fourth crisis weeks to the 2023 general election. The Nigeria Customs Service, Seme Border Command, said it has in intercepted counterfeit $6 million currency. The command also said it unmasked an international passport syndicate that operated at the border assets. Controller in Nandi Dera, Customs Area Controller, Semi Border Command, who disclosed this to a journalist during a press briefing on Thursday, says the money was equivalent to 2.763 billion naira at an exchange rate of 460,000 naira. Comes Dera that the Seekshaw was made on January 31st, 2033 at Gwadi checkpoint along the same border acid. According to the custom boss, the smugglers attempted to bribe his operatives with the original $150,000 currency to allow them passage with the fake currency. The CSC lamented the activities of smugglers and economic sabotage at the border and elsewhere. The Oyo State Governor, Shein Makide, on Friday night announced the deployment of free Omi Tutu transport buses to cushion the effect of the false scarcity and Nara crisis in the country on residents of the state. Makide announced this in a statewide broadcast air on the state owned radio service, the Broadcasting Corporation of Oyo State. The governor who frowned upon the violent protest that erupted in the state earlier on Friday said his government was ready to do whatever was needed to ease the pain of the people. 
He, however, all the residents on the state expressed their grievances peacefully, adding that his government would not condone the breakdown of law and order. A statement by the chief press secretary to the government, Taiwo Adisa, noted that Markide also put security agencies in the state on high alert about any breakdown of law and order, according to a report by the Eagle Online. Heavily armed bandits in the early hours of Saturday broke into the Gindiri residence of the Plato State Commissioner of Environment, Honorable Usman Bamayi, and abducted his wife and daughter. It was learned that the commissioner is one of the aspirants contesting for the Mango Boko's Federal House of Representative constituency, say it on the platform of the ruling All Progressive Congress. The incident is coming barely one week after a similar incident occurred in the same Gindiri community or Mango local government area or where an elderly woman with her daughter were abducted along the two pastors. A resident of the community, Malam Sani Musa, told the Telegraph that the Gindiri general area has been under stage as bandits and terrorist elements are continuing to terrorize the citizen. It will be recalled that last month a traditional ruler was also kidnapped in the same Mango local government area of the state. The public relations officer of the Plato State Police Command, ASP Gabriel Uber, when contacted confirmed the incident, but saw that the officers of the command are ready on the trial of the abductors to ensure the same rescue and the release of the victims. A customer slumped and died after standing in a queue for long hours at a bank in Ago, Delta State. According to the Tribune on Friday, the year to be identified five men died after waiting for hours on end to collect at his automated teller machine car at the bank's branch in the Ica South local government area in Delta State. Confirming his death, the state police public relations officer, DSP Bright Edafe, said he was not trying to withdraw cash as claimed. However, he came to the cell that the bank to collect his ATM card. And lastly, on sport. Ali Risaki, Olamileko Adams, Emmanuel Uchebu, and Samuel Lawa were the scorers of the Ladon Bosso's men, Y. Moses, Malenga, and last month, Fury, scored for Zambia. Saki opened the scoring in the 40th minute, but Malenga made it 1-1 on 59 minutes. Olamileko restored the Flying Eagles, led on 62 minutes, and once again, Zambia got back at 2-2 times to Fury who got on the score sheet in the 66th minute. With 15 minutes left, Ushegu got the Flying Eagles third before Lawal added the fourth on 88th minute. The Flying Eagles are in Group A are the under-20 Afghan alongside host Egypt, Mozambique, and Senegal. They will open their campaign against the Senegal leads on February 19. Zambia are in Group C with Gambia, Benin Republic, and Tunisia. This year's tournament will, will run from February 19 to March 11. We also dub as the African qualifiers for the 2023 FIBA on the 20 World Cup, which we hold in Indonesia. The top four teams from the under 20 AFCON will qualify for the World Cup. And that concludes the national news for this hour. But before we go, here's some of the major headlines once again. CBN begs Nigerians vows to stop US charges. A may fairly out to score to 2022 election with Naira scarcity. Arrest him now, says Bani Kayode. I dare the customs intercept fake six million dollars. Note as semi border, dislodge international passport syndicate. Markide deploys free buses over four Naira's crisis. Terrorist adults wife daughter of play to commissioner. To join us on all our social media handles on Facebook as Bagadimo with Alawi at Debayo. Please follow the page and share the page. And on Instagram as Bagadimo underscore 22. Please follow the page and share the page as well. And on YouTube as Baba Bagadimo TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn your post notification bell. For your adverts, please call the number displayed on the screen. Thanks so much for always watching our news on BGI TV. 
I am Stannis Olakomi Adikade. Bye for now. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.